Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu has described the allegation of genocide leveled against Israel by South Africa at the International Court of Justice as an act not only false but outrageous. Benjamin Netanyahu made the condemnation in a nationwide broadcast while reacting to the judgment of the International Court of Justice, which ordered Israel to set up measures to prevent acts of genocide in the Gaza Strip of Palestine. Reacting, Prime Benjamin Netanyahu called on all decent people in the world to reject the allegation of genocide made against Israel at the court. Benjamin Netanyahu stated that Israel has the right to defend itself, adding that any attempt to deny Israel the right is an act of discrimination against the Jewish state. Emphasizing, Benjamin Netanyahu said the ongoing war in Gaza is against Hamas and not Palestinian civilians. Excerpts of the Prime Minister broadcast reads below. Israel's commitment to international law is unwavering. Equally unwavering is our separate commitment to continue to defend our country and defend our people. Like every country, Israel has an inherent right to defend itself. The vile attempt to deny Israel this fundamental right is blatant discrimination against the Jewish state and it was justly rejected. The charge of genocide leveled against Israel is not only false, it's outrageous, and decent people everywhere should reject it. On the eve of the International Holocaust Remembrance Day, I again pledge as Prime Minister of Israel, never again. Israel will continue to defend itself against Hamas, a genocidal terror organization. On October 7, Hamas perpetrated the most horrific atrocities against the Jewish people since the Holocaust and it vows to repeat these atrocities again and again and again. Our war is against Hamas terrorists, not against Palestinian civilians. We will continue to facilitate humanitarian assistance and to do our utmost to keep civilians out of harm's way even as Hamas uses civilians as human shields. We will continue to do what is necessary to defend our country and defend our people. Israel's commitment to international law is unwavering. Equally unwavering is our sacred commitment to continue to defend our country and defend our people. Like every country, Israel has an inherent right to defend itself. The vile attempt to deny Israel this fundamental right is blatant discrimination against the Jewish state, and it was justly rejected. The charge of genocide leveled against Israel is not only false, it's outrageous, and decent people everywhere should reject it. On the eve of the International Holocaust Remembrance Day, I again pledge as Israel's Prime Minister, never again. Israel will continue to defend itself against Hamas, a genocidal terror organization. On October 7th, Hamas perpetrated the most horrific atrocities against the Jewish people since the Holocaust and it vows to repeat these atrocities again and again and again. Our war is against Hamas terrorists, not against Palestinian civilians. We will continue to facilitate humanitarian assistance and to do our utmost to keep civilians out of harm's way, even as Hamas uses civilians as human shields. We will continue to do what is necessary to defend our country and defend our people.